Welcome to the Team MGE update. What the heck is the Team MG update? Um, MGE, uh, my government expert, mygovexpert.com. Team is in, uh, we're, we're in this together. Um, update, I get uh, calls and texts and messages and Facebook messages uh, every single day from people that need help with all things Social Security, uh, Medicare, um, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, and I respond to a lot of those. Um, and some of the answers, some of the questions, um, they may not be long enough uh, for a, a, a regular video. So just short little uh, snippets here and there. And uh, so that's kind of what the update is going to talk about. I also want to introduce a few of the videos I've, I've done. So that, that way you can go through my video library a little bit more efficiently. You should have a couple of hundred videos up by the end of the year on all things Social Security, Medicare, and uh, Obamacare. So uh, I'll introduce some of those new ones and uh, see if anything applies to you. Um, why team? Um, well, I want you to watch all the videos and today's update um, and see what pertains to you, but just as important, see if anything pertains, applies, any benefits available, savings for your friends, family, coworkers, next door neighbors, or whoever. So that's the team part, okay? So Team MGE Update. So uh, that's the name we're gonna go with, and this is uh, episode one. All right, uh, some of the uh, uh, questions I got this week, um, uh, I guess the first one is, I always, I always love this one, um, a spouse, an ex-spouse. So the spouse was married to this individual for 10 years or longer. They got divorced and uh, she is turning 62 years old and uh, she, is, she starts asking about filing for retirement on her own work record. And I ask her, I go through the uh, I go through the entire checklist I do with everybody to see if there's any more benefits out there available for you from Social Security, uh, you know, Medicare, Obamacare, all the rest of, I, I, you know, Medicaid, uh, Medicare savings program, save on prescription drugs. So I, I go through a whole, um, I, I ask you a whole bunch of questions to see if I can find you some more money. I do that with everybody. So I ask her, have you ever been married for 10 years or longer? She says, yeah, I was married for like 25 years. And I say, why aren't you collecting, why aren't you considering collecting on that person's record? Oh, well, in the divorce decree, he specifically wrote down there that I can't get his Social Security money. And uh, yeah, that's yeah, nice try. Um, I don't know if he read if he wrote that divorce decree himself or he got a lawyer. A lawyer should be disbarred. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, you could write whatever. I guess you can write whatever you want in a divorce decree and whether it actually applies. But Social Security doesn't care. Um, I've taken tens of thousands when I worked the Social Security Administration, I've taken tens of thousands of uh, uh, divorced spouse benefits. And Social Security, yes, does request the, uh, the marriage certificate and the divorce decree to prove that you're actually married to the person for 10 years. You have to be married to the person for 10 years or it end in death. Um, again, as I mentioned in all my videos, there's always exceptions to the exceptions to the exceptions with Social Security and Medicare and, and the government in general, I guess. So, yes, we do request a copy of the divorce decree, and I think that's possibly what a lot of people get kind of confused or kind of misunderstand um, or their exes, you know, try to, you know, rip them off of Social Security benefits that they say, yeah, Social Security is requesting that to see if, you know, it, it says right in there that I can't get the Social Security. Again, I've taken tens of thousands of those claims, and when I get the divorce decree, I look at the names. John Smith, Mary Smith, divorced March 7th, 1995, and that's it. I don't look at anything else. That's it. That's all I ever looked at. That's all all Social Security employees look at is just that. Okay, I got to be honest. Uh, sometimes it's fun to go back and see in the 1970s when you get divorced, and it's like uh, how the uh, the estate was kind of broken up. It's like, you know, I get the dog, I get the, you know, the 1971 Pinto or whatever the case may be. So that's always fun to look at, but that's just a you know, personal thing people do in their spare time, I guess. Um, but uh, other than that, don't care. So the whole uh, ex-husband, ex-spouse, ex-wife, nice, nice try, didn't work. 
Um, so even if it says that in the divorce decree, it doesn't matter at all. Okay. All right. So that was uh, one call I got this week. Um, another call um, was a person, uh, um, an expat, a lot of expats out there. Um, and uh, he was in the Philippines and he had some uh, issues, uh, wanted to file for benefits. Um, and Social Security Administration has what's called uh, uh, federal benefits units. And they are uh, throughout the world. Um, so pretty much you can live anywhere in the world and collect Social Security benefits if you're a U.S. citizen. If you're not a U.S. citizen, um, if you're you know, a green card holder, as they say, um, it, there's a little bit more stipulations. But if you're a U.S. citizen, you can live anywhere in the world except, except for Cuba and North Korea. So those who had designs on retiring to North Korea to enjoy the nice beaches and barbed wire, I guess, sorry um, to break the news to you. Not North Korea, Cuba. It's, if you like the old 1950s cars, I guess that's the place to go. The place to go. All right. So uh, other than those two particular state, those two particular countries, um, because the Department of Treasury doesn't allow uh, the government to send money to those particular countries. So those federal benefits units, um, there are several throughout. Uh, the country, all you have to do is go to ssa.gov, and I'll put a, a link up uh, there to uh, the actual uh, part of the website. And it'll list all the, uh, um, th there's Social Security actual employees um, that go to different areas of the world. So these are actually Social Security trained employees. I've known a buddy of mine was uh, um, in charge of Asia. So he was out of uh, Manila. Um, but so he covered, I think, what, 40 different countries in Asia. Um, but in particular, large embassies, they have what's called a federal benefits unit. And those people are hired by the Department of State, but they're trained by Social Security to help with all kinds of Social Security stuff. So I'll put that link up uh, and I might do a longer video later. All right. Um, another call this week. Um, uh, when I worked at Social Security, a lot of people came in on a regular basis and said their uh, their ID was stolen, um, their wallet was stolen, their purse was stolen, and they want to notify Social Security. Um, you don't really notify Social Security. Um, I mean, it's you know the, the you know even though credit reporting agencies, private companies use the Social Security number for your credit report and all that kind of stuff. Social Security, that's not really Social Security, you know, purview. Uh, that's not what really Social Security does. Um, so you need to contact the three major credit reporting agencies to get that figured out. Um, in terms of the actual, if you lose your actual Social Security number, um, you know, you know, people might buy something, but that's not Social Security, you know, related. Um, the only thing they can really do with your Social Security number is if you're currently getting benefits, you know, if they have that and you also have your date of birth, maybe they can go into an account and uh, change your direct deposit or something like that. So again, you need to maybe change your direct deposit um, or you can call social security and have them put kind of a, like a password on your account. Um, and that way nobody can access without saying kind of the password. Social security kind of does that sometimes and sometimes they don't. So um, it's kind of a, a strange policy. So call the 800 number and uh, they'll walk you through that. To get a replacement social security card, um, it's one of those things or, or you need an ID, um, and uh, but you, you your ID was stolen, and so you go down to the your local you know Department of Motor Vehicles to get an ID, and they need a, a proof and your Social Security number, and you say, well, I lost that too. It's so it's, it depends on a particular state, um, so getting one before the other. But uh, another issue that this person had is uh, so watch out. There's a little scam alert. Um, I guess he, he was, you know, uh, he was retiring, so he was downsizing. So he put some, uh, he put a bunch of his furniture on, uh, on uh, Facebook, I guess, marketplace. And he got a contact from somebody really nice, nice pictures on the, you know, the marketplace and with kids and, you know, good reviews, yada, yada, yada. And uh, so I guess he sold him a dining set. And uh, it's, yeah, and the guy said, yeah, can you go ahead and transfer money through Zelle? And uh Zelle is, you know, a wire transfer type situation. I have Navy Federal Credit Union myself, and Navy Federal Credit Union also uses Zelle, so they're very reputable. Um, but uh, this one wasn't. Um, 
I guess the guy spoofed the Zelle website. He made a fake Zelle website and sent the guy the information. And uh, yeah, so he, he lost all that money. Um, but uh, uh, his philosophy was his philosophy was kind of like mine that, uh, um, you know, it's good guys finish last, I guess. Um, very trusting, um, kind of like me. He's that way too. But uh, I always found that, uh, you know, the trusting you know, it's, to be really sour and negative all the time, it's kind of wears on you. It's if you're trusting and positive, sometimes people take advantage of you. But I think there's a, a positive to that. But that's all my two cents. All right. I want to keep these uh, these updates as short as possible. If, if that's possible for me, I always like to drone on and add extra insights. Uh, but today we'll, uh, we'll we'll try to keep these updates to about 10 minutes. And uh, this is episode one, and we'll see you next time. Have a beautiful day.